Hello, all. Uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Metamalicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's get to it. The first message you have here um, is a low vibrational op. It's coming into your life to gaslight you and weasel their way into your life. Somebody is using magic to control your free will. Don't trust them. No longer settling for less, single and celibate. So that could be your energy. You're no longer settling for less. You could be single. You could be celibate. Okay. We have here the hate is real. Okay. So, um, obviously, you're being hated on by a group of individuals. This could be why they're using magic on you. Why they're trying to send some low vibrational op to... to gaslight you or to catfish you in some type of way this is the reason why spirit is saying don't trust them okay so on this hate is real um you could be being blackballed uh discriminated against you could be going through neglect racism manipulation there could be murder plots against you you could have been outcasted there's spell work being done on you obviously torture psychological operations sabotage abandonment abuse um you could have been blacklisted um Persec you could be being persecuted in some type of way um, Cruelty attacks domestic terrorism or even just betrayal here. Okay, but spirit is saying the hate is real Okay, and last but not least we have here you got to be strong to be alone. Okay So that's what's going on here guys whomever you are you're single you're celibate Okay, but there's this low vibrational app that's trying to catfish you gaslight you and weasel their way into your life okay um somebody is doing some type of spell work on you this could be sex magic love spells binding spells you know whatever type of spells these um the delusional idiots do okay um but spirit is saying don't trust them okay um stay single and celibate okay because it seems as if that you know whoever this is is trying to get into your energy they're up to no good okay because hate is real okay and spirit is saying you got to be strong to be along which i feel like by now you're used to it okay um if you're single and you're celibate you've probably been that way for a while okay um so um let's get some further clarification for this situation spirit clarify a low vibrational op is coming into your life to gaslight you So this person think they a player from the Himalaya, sonny, okay? They think they some type of player. They want to come in and play games with you. So you clarify somebody is using magic to control your free will. So we have crazy karmic lover here, okay? So they're, whoever is using this magic on you to try to control your free will here is some type of crazy karmic lover. This could be this low vibrational person, this low vibrational op, um... That's trying to catfish you and gaslight you. Um, they could be a crazy karmic lover, or this could be a crazy karmic lover from your past. But somebody is using magic to try to control your free will, okay? Somebody's even trying to control your love, like, like, like your life in general, okay? So you're clear if I don't trust them. Yeah, this person, this person is codependent, spirit is saying. They're coming in to try to tempt you, okay? But this person is a cheater. They're going to be sneaking and creeping around. This person going to lie to you. They're going to cheat on you. You know, depending on the person, they may even abuse you in some type of way. Yeah, spirits say don't trust them because they're low down and dirty shame. Okay. So you're clarifying no longer settling for less single and celibate. Yeah, spirits say this person is a pole hustler who sweaty pimping. You 
could be unfulfilled and unsatisfied, um, but, you know, Spirit is saying if you get in this relationship with this person, it's going to be an unfulfilled and unsatisfied relationship, okay? Spirit, clarify, um, for some of you all, this could even be an ex. We got, I see here, this person is an ex for a reason. This could be an ex trying to come into your life. This person is a, a, a habitual cheater. They're a trickster. Okay, you will be sleeping with the enemy. Look, sleeping with the enemy tricks their cheaters. Okay, look, he or she only wants to marry you for money. Yeah, this is not. Mm -mm. This person might be a twin flame fling as well. Okay. So what else is what else is going on here? Clarify. I'm no longer settling for less. Single and celibate. No longer settling for less, single and celibate. Yes, Spirit is saying this is a bad romance. This person is a serial cheater. And on top of that, they're not even that into you. Okay? They're not even into you at all. This person coming in to try to play games with your heart in some type of way. You could be sexually frustrated, honey, but like, yeah. If it's if it gets that bad, like you might as well please yourself, okay? It'll be better for you to please yourself and then stay alone than to get with this person, okay? Um, just for them to play games with you, okay? Play with your heart, and the sex probably ain't even that good with them anyway, okay? Considering the fact that they're not even that into you, so this is somebody who is probably like not even really attracted to you. Don't even really care about you. This person wants to be with you for some reason, okay? And I seen the one card that says they only want to be with you or they only want to marry you for money. So you may have money or could be coming into some type of money that this person know about. So that's the only reason why they want to be with you. But this person is not even that into you, which means the sex is not going to be good. The sex is never good with somebody who is not even really attracted to you like that okay or or you know want to be with you like that okay so to clarify no longer settling for less single and celibate we have here i want true love or nothing at all okay is your energy okay so you want true love or nothing at all okay so to clarify the hate is real clarify the hate is real yeah look at this he or she only wants to be with you to make you a blood sacrifice for fame and fortune so this person trying to come up by trying to sacrifice you in some type of way um, this person is not even attracted to you. They don't even like you, okay? This person is obviously a sellout. I don't know who they teamed up or linked up with, but this person is literally coming into your life um, to play their role long enough to try to blood sacrifice you so they can get, you know, some type of money off of it, okay? Position, title, role, fame, fortune, something. This person is a total loser, okay? So, to clarify, you got to be strong to be alone. You got to be strong to be alone, okay? Somebody even could, this person that's coming towards you could even be a down low switch hidden brother if this is a man, okay? But whether it's a man or a woman, they're they're a serial cheater. That person that person is not even into you, so they're going to cheat on you, okay? Yeah. So we have lonely here. And whoever you are, you're hopeless romantic. Don't waste your time on this, okay? So you could be lonely, okay? Um, you and your me, myself, and I type of energy. You're by yourself. You're on your own. You're all alone. You're a lonely loner, okay? Spirit is saying sometimes it's safer to be alone. Yes, it says sometimes it's safer to be alone. Keeps you from being hurt over and over again here okay so that's why spirit is saying you got to be strong to be alone okay all right guys so that's what's going on here honey okay spirit clarify this player energy clarify this player energy spirit is saying you your, your life is a movie you in a real life uh, a truman show whoever this person is look at this this person want to come into your life to cause some type of tower in your life to cause problems in your life tragedy and chaos okay this low vibrational op uh, that wants to come in and gaslight you and in 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 um 
catfish you, okay? This person is targeting you. You're being targeted on purpose here, okay? You are a targeted individual. You're being targeted on purpose. This is the reason why somebody's using magic on you to control your free will, okay? Yeah, spirits say don't trust them, okay? Pay attention to the enemy subliminal witch language as well here, okay? Because if this person is, a, is truly a sellout, Okay, um, they sold they sold to the devil and they're in the pockets of the, the powers that be and they probably belong to some type of witch coven, satanic cult or secret society. They have to pay their homage, okay? So it's going to be certain hand signs, symbolism, certain shit they say and certain things that they do or what have you. So pay attention to hauntings, threats, warnings, tauntings, bullyings, wisecracks, slick shots, or subliminal messages, okay? Spirits say don't trust them. They are low down and dirty shame. Pay attention to the enemy's subliminal witch language, okay, when it comes to this person. It's, they, they sit back watching you, too, okay? Spirit, clarify no longer settling for less. I see the, LB, the LGBTQ uh, community card here. Um, if you are a feminine and this is a masculine, he a down low switch hidden brother. Okay, he he on the down low. He is really another man to get his dick hard. He in the closet like a mother. Okay, um, that's the reason why he really not that into you. Okay, because it's really another dude to get his this his dick card. Okay. However, if you are a feminine and this is another feminine, okay, this person could be a part of the LGBT community. Obviously, if if you are lesbian and they are lesbian or whatever, but whether it's a male or a female that's coming into your life, um, both of them have connections to the LGBT community card here or what have you. I feel like they both switch hitters. Because I'm picking up bisexual, okay? So even if you are a lesbian and a woman coming to your life that like they want to be with you or whatever, this person really is, you know, is, is also screwing guys behind your back, okay? If this, if you're a feminine, is a guy coming to your life, he is secretly screwing other men, okay? Because both of them is connected to the LGBT community in some way, shape, form, or fashion, whether openly or secretly, okay? But they're both serial cheaters. They're both coming in. They're both not attracted to you like that. Um, they're not into you like that. They're coming in solely, purposely, um, to be a low vibrational op in your life, gaslight you, catfish you, okay, they're going to be doing spell work on you, they're going to be plotting and planning and scheming against you with whoever else they teamed up and linked up with to sacrifice you, somebody has promised this person a certain amount of money or fame or position, title or role or some shit like that, that they can get close to you and work with them to try to set you up to take you out, okay, because they're trying to blood sacrifice you, okay, which means that there's some higher ups involved here, okay, this person could be a gang stalker as well, they could be a part of some type of gang stalking group which ties into the government as well because it's the government and the secret societies um that that run rule and control the gang stalkers okay that recruit these gang stalkers and shit okay but yeah that's what's going on here it's very clarify um no longer settling for less single and celibate no longer settling for less single and celibate Yeah, somebody's trying to set you up for failure. They're trying to get, oppress you in some type of way, get you wrapped up in some type of bad deal or something like that or what have you. No longer settling for less. So we have progress, not perfection here, okay? Strive to be the greatest version of yourself. Spirit is saying you are the best, okay? Keep up the good work and never give up, okay? You just continue to get better and better and, you know, don't, don't, let her op get you down. To clarify, the hate is real here. She only wants to be with you to make you a blood sacrifice for fame and fortune. Here we have time is money, so stop wasting it. If it don't make money, then it don't make sense, okay? We talk about greedy, narcissistic, materialistic um, sellouts here, okay? Who have been bribed with money in some type of way to come into your life um, and do certain shit to you, okay? They're trying to blood sacrifice you for fame, for fortune, for money. They're trying to come up in some type of way, okay? they money hungry gold diggers, just period. It's all about the money for them. We also have the strength card here on you got to be strong to be alone here, okay? So this talks about you standing your ground to overcome conflict. This talks about courage, faith, endurance, balance, opposition, vitality here, okay? Um, having patience okay it also speaks to stability okay yeah that's what's going on here y'all 
okay bottom of the deck we have the content creator card here so you may be someone who is on social media um you may be a content creator a vlogger a blogger on social media in some type of way shape form or fashion you can be on instagram twitter youtube uh tiktok twitch um you have some type of platform or something like that or what have you okay so that's what's going on here y'all Sir, any other messages as it relates to this situation? This this person might try to get you to go on some type of retreat with them. Don't go no isolated place with them. Nowhere. Don't go no trip, no journey, no supposed vacation, no retreat with them. Nowhere, okay? Because they love to set you up to do something to you because they're trying to sacrifice you. I keep seeing that. This person gonna come in and act like they so attracted to you, okay? And try to get you to go on some retreat with them. This say it's just time to disconnect from the world. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, spirit is saying you need to free yourself from this situation, okay? But this person definitely coming in, flirting, being flirtatious with you in some type of way. Okay? I see codependency here, okay? So this person is codependent. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person may have some type of addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, sex addictions, money addictions, or something. But codependency is definitely a factor in this situation. I do see new love or, or a new partner, whatever it's that, um, for some of you all. For So for the majority of you all, this is going to be a new person. Spirit is saying you deserve love, but this person ain't your love, okay? This ain't it, okay? Yeah, whoever this new person coming to your life, this person is codependent. Okay, yeah, and they say very, very soon here. Okay, this person may also have some type of family issues or something like that. Spirits say pay attention to the red flags with this person. Yeah, deception here. This person is wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. Okay. Codependency, new love, very soon. Pay attention to the red flags, deception. Okay? You cannot trust this person, okay? This is not this is not your person. This is not who you want to be with. Okay. Um, I did see twin flame flink in that other deck. So this person may come through like they got twin flame or whatever, but this person is a twin flame imposter. Okay. Just period. That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay. So let's see what other messages. I see this card don't even go in this deck. I'm getting ready to use this. Say I regret lying to you. So this person is going to come in lying to you. Okay. For some of y'all, if this is somebody, this say new love, but I feel like a few people, this might be somebody from your past, okay? This person will come in, act like they so sorry, they regret lying to you. This is somebody you've been in a separation with, okay? For the, the rest of you all, um, this is somebody new. Okay. With um so we have poker face here, okay? This person is gonna type of try to take some type of chance, okay, or risk or but this person has like multiple options. They're not gonna be showing their true hand. They basically gonna be like gambling, playing games with you. Okay. This person has ulterior motives for coming into your life, okay? You might be shocked or surprised. By what this person is up to, what they are do. This a sudden change, shocking news, surprises, and epiphanies, transformations here as well here. Okay, so something shocking. There's some type of shock factor as it relates to this person here. Okay, but like I told you, this is a karmic. This is karmic relationships, resentments and triggers, perceptions, intensity, um, and letting go, turmoil and fleeting here. This is a karmic that's coming into your life. Okay, we got cut down at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Cut now, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, okay? So, this is somebody that, you know, if you, you deal with this person, it won't be long before you decide to cut this person off, okay? For those of you where this is somebody, for the few of you where there's somebody from your past trying to come back, there's somebody that you cut off in some type of way. This person is straight up a karmic. Okay, they do not have good intentions at heart. This person is a straight up sellout and they're trying to set you up to blood sacrifice you for money, period, point blank. Period, point blank. 
Spirit, clarify a low vibrational op. I was trying to come into your life. Low vibrational op. Trying to come into your life. So we have change that fell out here, okay? Whoever this low vibrational op, gaslighter, gang stalker, uh, catfisher is, um, they're, they're trying to come and ch like change something into your life. Or they may appear that like they want to bring about some type of change in they, your life. They're going to say and do whatever when you first meet them to get in your energy, okay? But with this tower being here okay this person is trying to cause problems in your life in some way shape form or fashion this person is definitely not to be trusted so you clarify somebody is using magic to try to control your free will somebody is using magic to try to control your free will okay so it's interesting the coffin card as well as courtship want to flip over this person is doing death spells on you this person is targeting you on purpose okay Whoever this person is that's coming in to date you, they're doing death spells on you. Yep. And you know what? Since the both of them tried to come out here, then, um, but it don't matter. We just put that here. Okay? Because we know this person is trying to sacrifice you in some type of way. And they got to be, they're not doing this by themselves. They're teamed up and linked up with somebody else. So you clarify, don't trust them. Don't trust them. So I just seen a lover's card. This person could be trying to come in to cause you bad health in some type of way. Look, you see lovers and great fortune here. Either you're coming into some type of great fortune and this person's trying to get close to you so they can... Um, sacrifice you in some type of way to take your money here or whatever or somebody has promised them great fortune for getting close to you and coming in to do something to you okay but you can't trust them yeah because spirits say they a false person this person fake phony fraudulent untrue a liar cheater deceiver manipulator con artist just period spirit clarify no longer settling for less single and celibate no longer settling for less single and celibate Many of you could be focused on your occupation right now, okay? you like, not even worried about, um, you know, being in a relationship with nobody, especially being in a relationship with some low vibrational person. Many of us, like, there's a 34 on this card, so you could be 34 years or older, okay? Yeah, but, you know, majority of the time, you know the sayings that, I mean, you know, different things happen for different people some some of uh, some people are lucky in the world and some but some people um their entire life it feels like they've been forsaken okay a lot of times as the saying goes if you're not you know deeply in love have a family or married by the time you're middle age then you know is least likely to happen um but i mean anything is possible but at the same time whoever i'm speaking to i feel like you're middle age you could be middle aged and so you've been there, done that, moved on. You're not, you know, dealing with nobody's bullshit anymore. Okay? This person can even come in and try to act like that they want to, um, because they're going to come in trying to act like they want to be your lover or whatever, but this person might even, you know, go as far as to act like they want to marry you and they want a child with you or something. Yeah, like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Whoever this is, you could be in poverty, they could be in poverty, or what have you. The spirit says this person is low vibrational here, but there is something here about great fortune here. Okay? Whether to sacrifice you or that you the money that you are coming into, or what have you. Yeah. Okay, spirit clarify, you gotta be strong to be alone. You gotta be strong to be alone. Whomever you are, you're an introvert. Okay? You're to yourself, you're by yourself, you're at home the majority of the time. Okay? So, to clarify, you gotta be strong to be alone. And many of you don't even have family. You say that family room is empty. Okay? Yeah. 
So why you on this destined pathway that you're on here? It's weird to say you gotta be strong to be alone, okay? Sometimes is is if you know sometimes it's safer being single. Okay? To keep you from, from being hurt and different things. It's it's lonely, but it is what it is. Okay, spirit, what else? Clarify change for us, please. So this person is trying to come into your life. This person is a foe, okay? A foe is somebody who's an enemy or an opponent, okay? They're not for you. They don't like you. They don't care about you or anything, okay? So you're clarifying somebody is using um, magic to control your free will. So we got pleasure seekers here, okay? Pleasure seekers do shit for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, their own ill will, their own benefit, their own desire. Pleasure seekers like getting drunk, like getting high, like partying, like playing around, like cheating, like sneaking, like freaking, like creeping, okay? This person is a pleasure seeker. And they're doing magic on you to try to control your free will. This person could be doing magic to try to to try to cloud your your judgment, make you fall in love with them or some shit like that, or you know, all kinds of shit. So you're clarified, don't trust them. Clarify, don't trust them, spirit. Yeah. They working for somebody. Look at that. <laughs> Service and fortune here. Service is somebody who is working for someone, helping someone, doing a job for someone here, okay? Somebody in the promise this person, look at that fortune, you got a gift right there, or what have you. Uh -uh. Yeah, this person is working for somebody, okay? This person is being paid to come into your life, okay? So you'd also say don't trust them because we got thief here. This person is trying to steal something from you. So you're clarified no longer settling for less. Single and celibate. No longer settling for less. Single and celibate. So we got waiting here. Okay, so you to yourself, you by yourself, you're doing your own thing. You're possibly focusing on work, hobbies, or careers, or something like that, or what have you. Okay? So to clarify, um, this person want to come in and treat you like a whore? Yeah, with servant here, hope, and sorrow here, this person and prison here, this person want to come in, treat you like a whore, hurt you, cause you sorrow, heartache, heartbreak, and pain, and have you stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of a situation, okay, until they're able to sacrifice you. That's this person's energy. That's what this person is up to, okay? And this person is working for somebody who is in power, authority, leadership, uh, or of influence here with this Lord card here. You can't trust this bastard, period. So what's with this great fortune? Why is this great fortune here? Yeah, look, this person is trying to sacrifice you. This person is trying to sacrifice you for money. So, and it's something I keep seeing something with child here. I don't, I don't know what type of sick, twisted ass shit that this, this is, but it keeps coming up in readings. It's like somebody is trying to take out, uh, like a single mother, a person who is a single mother, because they want access to their kids and they want access to some type of money. These motherfuckers are sick, okay? But yeah. They're trying to, they, you got death and money here. Definitely don't marry this person, okay? Spirit, clarify great fortune. Yeah, Spirit is saying this person is the enemy. Period. You will definitely be sleeping with the enemy, dealing with this person. No if, ands, buts about it. Spirit, clarify this great fortune. Why is this great fortune here? Okay, you might be a scholar, you might be somebody who is good at what you do. Okay, perhaps there's some type of something, maybe there's some type of money that's coming through for you. Okay, or maybe this great fortune is what somebody is being promised or paid to come in your life and get over on you in some type of way. Okay, this person wants to come in and cause you despair. So, um, what else? Somebody is also trying to get their hands on somebody's child to traffic them. Yeah, I see fortune here. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to cause misfortune in your life. Okay. So to clarify, you got to be strong to be alone. You got to be strong to be alone. So we have Psy here. 
okay so you could like literally be mourning over your life okay over the, being lonely over not having anything or anybody but it's it's probably safer being alone okay we got gift at the bottom of the deck so there could be some type of gift that is coming to you okay yeah we got gift despair and that lord again here with messenger here okay letter here so there could be some type of gift of abundance or something coming to you but it's like literally somebody is sitting back and waiting for the perfect opportunity to reason they wait into your life because this person wants to steal that from you and this person is coming to your life to play games with you i wouldn't trust nobody if i was you okay but i mean the at the end of the day i don't you know making my business selling grown folks what they should and shouldn't be doing but it is what it is i can't do nothing say you're true and you're gonna do what you want to do at the end of the day but i wouldn't i wouldn't trust anybody period point blank not a one i wouldn't give them how good they look how where they dress what they drive where they live how smooth they talk how slick they walk i don't care i don't care about none of that period yeah look because this person's trying to sacrifice you mm -mm. It's sad. So you're clarifying a low vibrational op is coming into your life. Um, to gaslight, catfish you, weasel their way into your life. Who's this op, Spirit? Who's this op? This person wants to come in and have you in mental conflict. This spell work that is being done is to have you in mental conflict to alter your, your state of mind or something as well here, okay? This person wants you stuck or trapped in fear in some type of way. Spirit, clarify this, this low vibrational op. Who is this low vibrational op? Whoever they ask is, they sneaking and creeping around. They're doing something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back, okay? Spirit, clarify, don't trust them. Don't trust them. Yeah. This person might even be somebody in authority here, okay? Don't be mesmerized by no by no no man or no woman in no damn uniform. I wouldn't give a damn who they work for, okay? They could be working for Secret Service, the goddamn president, okay? Uh uh goddamn anybody. CIA. I wouldn't give a damn who the hell they work for. They can be in the military and then where else. I, they don't mean you, you can automatically trust them, okay? Because this says authority, obstacles, and challenges. Don't trust them, okay? Whoever this person is, okay? Yeah, this person is in some type of partnership and alliance, which means this person is a part of some type of secret society, witch club, and satanic cult, gang stalking group, or something that's trying to sacrifice you, okay? I wouldn't trust these bitches. No further than they can, I could throw them. Spirit said that's the truth. And considering the fact you couldn't pick up one of these fools and throw them across the damn room, don't trust them, okay? Spirit clarified no longer settling for less, single and celibate. No longer settling for less, single and celibate. Yeah, this person is coming in your life to cause disruption to your life, okay? I told you this person want to come in and cause a tower in your life here, okay? Yeah, deception and envy here. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at that. This person want to cause conflict and defeat in your life. Seriously, like that's the truth. Spirit, clarify, I'm no longer settling for less. Yeah, this person wants to come in and tempt you in some type of way. How you got temptation and transformation together? Temptation is like the devil energy. This person wants to come in and tempt you to be in some intimate sexual relationship with you. Transformation, the only way for a transformation to occur is for a death to happen. Stop playing. yeah so we have here stand your ground okay you single you celibate okay you're no longer settling settling for less Stand your ground against this person and anybody else okay so to clarify you got to be strong to be alone yeah seriously listen to your intuition okay got intuition awareness okay so you aware of what's going on okay we got balance here as well. Stand your ground to, to maintain balance in your life, okay? And you got to be strong to be alone, okay? So use your intuition. 
because you aware of what's really happening okay what's really going on that's what that's 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 what's happening here y'all okay it's so interesting because i feel like whoever these whoever these cowards are that's working against you I don't feel like these are regular everyday average jokes. Like the people that they send in to you could be, but there's somebody, there's persons who are higher up. And I really, I literally feel like these jokers are sitting back profiling you, okay? Like they they sitting back profiling you, trying to figure out what it is you like, what you don't like, and you know, all this other kind of shit so they can try to send you your perfect person type of shit. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers sit back acting like they working at the BAU some goddamn where at the behavior analysis unit. You know what I'm saying? Profiling you and shit. Trying to figure out which op, which agent, you know what I'm saying? Um, which undercover assassin to sing your ass or some shit, okay? It's crazy. It's absolutely absurd. And I'm exaggerating, but I'm being for real at the same time. Because that's, that's what it's in. They keep trying shit and trying shit. Won't work. Trying shit and trying shit. Like the hell. And if you are if you are someone who is <laughs> if you are someone who is bisexual I don't, especially if you are bisexual but, um, whether you're bisexual or not, more so if you are bisexual, they just keep trying shit. So they'll try sending you a woman and see if you'll fall for that. They'll try sending you a man and see if you fall for that. Like, stop. So you clarify this low vibrational op. Who is this low vibrational op spirit? Who is this low vibrational op? King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Spirit, clarify somebody's doing magic on you. Somebody's doing magic on you. This person wants you to settle for less. I told you, whoever this person is want to come in and treat you like a whore. This person going to breadcrumb you and chump change you. It ain't going to be nothing more than the three of pentacles. Now, for somebody who ain't got shit, that would seem like a lot. Okay, but first of all, you have to understand what the three of coins is. The three of coins talks about collaborations. It's people who come together for the purposes of money. Okay, this is sitting here on somebody is doing spell work to control your free will. So somebody is doing love spells or sex magic or something. Somebody is trying to get you to like lower your standards or or like. Especially if you are going through anything, if you're in poverty, if you're struggling in some type of way. They want to send this low vibrational ass bastard into your life. This is a fuck for money card. Okay? Unless you got some type of talent, skill, or ability and somebody's trying to sucker you into some bullshit ass contract. With a group of individuals for the purposes of money. This is a fuck for money card. So this person is trying to come in and hold you. But ain't willing to offer you more than the three of pentacles. You can make more than the three of pentacles selling your own pussy. You understand what I'm saying? Who in the hell settles for this? For some local joker coming your goddamn way and only got the three of pentacles to, to offer you. Like, you have been through more in life that's worth more than the fucking three of pentacles. Your head alone is worth more than the three of pentacles. Let's alone any other hole that you have on your body. Like, stop playing. Excuse my language for those of you who feel like that's too explicit. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not I'm not putting nobody on blast to say that you live this type of life. But this is this person's mind frame. This person is a hoe and they want to come in and hold you. With the hopes that you're you going to fall for it. You're going to go for it. Especially if you ain't got shit. Or you got the bare minimum of some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this type of shit, whoever you are, I kept seeing the poverty card, whoever you are, you may, this don't mean you have to be homeless and on the street, but you may be somebody who has a bare minimum. You may live paycheck to paycheck. There's people who are in poverty who, you know, just have a lack of finances, money, and resources, but you're still making it from one day to the next. You know what I'm saying? This, um, I'm telling you, this person wants to come in and break crumb. They want to hold you and think you you gonna go for it. So say you make the bare minimum. Say you work, work in a, a, a job, even say if you had a job, 
okay and say you still living from paycheck to paycheck you making a minimum wage or whatever you know what i'm saying you barely got enough ends to meet or your ends don't meet at all you just don't have enough money to even pay for for the necessity this person wants to come in breadcrumb you hold you and think that you gonna go along with this why they fuck over you and at the same damn time plotting and planning and scheming to steal something from you and this person is being paid to do this not to mention if this person can get close to you and successful with sacrificing you this person has been offered a fortune for some of you, you may be in poverty right now, but there may be something beneficial that's coming through for you that has to do with this fortune. And they want this person close to you to be able to mind fuck you, to be able to steal this fortune from you. That's why spirits say don't trust them. Yeah. Because this person is coming in to cause you heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery, disappointment, regret. This person will betray you. Hmm. Yeah, this person wants you in mental conflict. This person is, this spell work that they're doing is also to have you in mental conflict in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They think you boo-boo the damn fool. Spirit clarify, uh, no longer settling for less, single, and celibate. No longer settling for less, single, and celibate. Spirit say that's the truth. That's clarity. And you see this freaky, kiki stuff, you, you look, you might be somebody who is freaky when you are having sex? You know what I'm saying? You might be somebody that when you with somebody, you could be a total nymph for them if you want to. But you know how to turn that shit on and turn it off. You understand right there? And right now, ain't no joker out here worth it. So you single and you celibate. And you no longer settling for less. And the ops is mad. Spirit said that's the truth. Oh, you want to play games? Well, we can turn this shit off. How about that? You get nothing. Mm -hmm. How about that? You get nothing. Since you want to play. What did somebody them been through? Since you want to breadcrumb somebody. Chump change somebody. Chop, please. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. Whoever you are, if you have the bare minimum of anything right now, there is a large amount of money coming in for you. And that's when this joker want to show up and act like they just love you. Either some type of a large amount of windfall of money is coming in for you or this person is being off of this to come into your life and do this whole shit to you. They're going to send you some type of communication. Spirit, clarify the hate is real. Clarify the hate is real. These people hate on you because of your job. They working against you and they hate on you because of your job, because of the work that you do. Spirit, clarify the hate is real. Clarify the hate is real. Yeah. We have the lovers here. So this person hates you. Okay? I see the ace of pentacles here. So this person is being paid something to come into your life and do this shit. This person don't care about you. Look at this. This person is being paid to come into your life and betray you. Lovers, ace of pentacles, ten of swords. That is a lover coming into your life who is being paid to come into your life. To betray you. To sabotage you. To stab you in your back. To be disloyal to you. On purpose. So to clarify, you got to be strong to be alone. You got to be strong to be alone. Look at that strength card again. Faith, courage, endurance. Look at that. Strength and temperance. You in this temperance energy here. But they literally think that they, 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 they literally think that they come in and hold you. And whether or not you, you have freaky tendencies in the past or not, whoever you are, you'd have been single and celibate for a long time. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, you can turn that, you probably could get down with the best stuff. You understand? But you, you, you might be a freak in the sheets, but you a lady in the streets, whoever the hell you are. So they got you all twisted in the game, boo. You understand what I'm saying? That they gonna send this op, this gaslighting, 
catfishing ass op who think that they can shortchange your ass. How is it that whatever it is that you're doing that you're coming into, you in eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles energy, and this bitch think that they can come in with the three of pentacles, and you're supposed to be bobbing and weaving for, for dicks and clicks around this month. <laughs> like, are you serious? Stop playing. Stop playing. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person don't have you in third party situations any damn way. I'm telling you, this person just wants to come in to hold you. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups is out here. This person literally think they want they're gonna come in acting like they want some type of relationship with you, but it's more of a friends with benefits type of situation because this person wants to just this person gonna do just enough. To get your attention. Your person going to do for you just enough. To make you feel like they really like you. Or care about you. Or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? But this person is a player. They're a liar. They're a cheater. They're a switch hitter. If they're a guy. Really and truly if they're a male or female. This is crazy, but they're coming in. Look, you got damn near all the threes here. You got the three of pentacles, the three of cups, the three of swords. Okay? Like heartache, heartbreak, third party situations. Fucking for money. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay? You gotta be strong to be alone. And here you are in this temperance energy. Okay? Temperance talks about patience. It talks about balance. You could be an angelic being. You could be a chosen one. You could be an earth angel. You could be a star seed, an indigo. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the reason why this person is, is vigorously doing spell work on you. To try to sway your opinion of them. Yeah. Look at this. But this person chained to the damn devil. I told you this person was sold they soul to the damn devil. Don't nobody need all them extra, them extra miles on their pussy for no reason at all. Like, stop. Anyway, y'all, that's what's going on here, honey. I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to the situation that you might be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that somebody else you know might be dealing with, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with an underscore between each word. For any person interested in donating to the channel, um, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamonds. Um, Y'all show your support to the channel, okay? Any little bit help. I see y'all support bullshit, fake shit, lies, and whole shit all day, every day. But those of us who bring who the truth and bring you the real, we can't get no support, okay, from nobody. So, show your support to the channel, okay? Whether you liking, sharing, or subscribing, or whether you are making a small donation or contribution uh, to the channel um, by um, donating through Cash App, PayPal, or what have you. Okay, as always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, because if you stay ready... You ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.